So what is hypnosis? I like to think of hypnosis as a state of focused relaxation. And to quote one of my teachers and mentors, the great Mike Mandel, hypnosis acts as an amplifier of human experience. So anything that we can do um, in a conscious waking state, we can amplify it further using hypnosis. So a little bit more about the mind and how in hypnosis we communicate with the unconscious part of the mind. If you consider an iceberg, um, the small part of the iceberg that might be showing above the ocean is the small part of our mind that we use consciously. Um, whereas underneath the ocean layer, you know that there is a much greater part of the iceberg that you can't see. And that is um, a metaphor we can use to think about the unconscious mind. So the conscious mind, it's said, can focus on seven plus or minus two bits of information at once. So at the moment, you can probably process, yeah, I guess an average of, of five bits of information. Whereas the unconscious mind is tracking millions and millions of bits of information all at once that you're not even aware of. So if you consider you might consciously be aware of the temperature in the room where you are at the moment, you might consciously be aware of whether or not you feel hungry, but your unconscious mind is controlling your body temperature. Your unconscious mind is controlling your heart rate. Your unconscious mind is detecting any potential danger around you. Your unconscious mind is controlling the growth of your fingernails. Your unconscious mind is ensuring that you are producing all the correct hormones in the exact correct amounts just for you. Um, your unconscious mind is running the show. So with hypnosis, we work together and we communicate with the unconscious part of your mind in order to make changes and achieve whatever your goal is. So for example, if you were looking to lose some weight, you might know consciously all the things that you're meant to be doing. You know that you need to be eating, focusing on eating really healthy foods, probably moving your body a bit more. But we also know that there's this other side, the mental side. And sometimes um, we can sabotage our own efforts. And perhaps they, there are some unconscious things going on there as well. So for example, certain emotional triggers um, and some that we won't even be aware of. So by using hypnosis to communicate with the unconscious part of your mind, you can start to align your unconscious and your conscious together. And that's gonna give you even better results and even greater success.